So let's talk more in depth about Firebase events, right? And analytics. So in the last tutorial, I demonstrated an event. Um, so, but what are events? In Firebase analytics, an event is a specific action that a user takes in your app, such as tapping a button, making a purchase, or sharing content. Events are used to track user behavior and provide insight into how users are interacting with your app. When you log an event in Firebase Analytics, you can include additional information about the event, such as the user's location, the type of device they are using, or the other relevant data. This information can be used to create reports and analyze user behavior, which can help you optimize your app and improve the user experience. <clears throat> Firebase Analytics provides a set of recommended events that you can use to track common user actions in your app, but you can also define your own custom events to make to track more specific actions that are relevant to your app. By logging events in your app, you can gain valuable insights into user behavior and make data-driven decisions to improve your app's performance and engagement. Firebase Analytics provides a set of recommended events that you can use to track user behavior in your app. Here are some of other recommended events grouped by category, e-commerce events, user engagement events, screen view events, and others. <clears throat> e-commerce events. So analytics event add to cart tracks when a user adds an item to their cart. Analytics event removed from cart tracks when the user removes an item from their cart. Analytics event begin checkout tracks when a user begins the checkout process. Analytics event purchase track when the user completes a purchase. Analytics event refund tracks when a user receives a refund. User engagement events. Analytics event open app tracks when the user opens your app. Analytics event app update tracks when the user updates your app. Analytics event app remove tracks when the user uninstalls your app. Analytics event first open tracks when a user opens your app for the first time. Analytics event user engagement tracks when a user engages with your app in a meaningful way, such as completing a level in a game or filling out a form. Okay. Then you have analytics, you have screen view events. Analytics event screen view tracks when a user views a screen in your app. Analytics event view item list tracks when a user views a list of items in your app. Analytics event view search results track when a user views search results in your app. Other events, analytics event login tracks when a user logs into your app. Analytics event sign up tracks when a user signs up for your app. Analytics event share tracks when a user shares content from your app. Analytics event earn victory virtual currency tracks when a user earns virtual currency in your app. Analytics event spend virtual currency tracks when a user spends virtual, cur virtual currency in your app. So th this is a brief overview of um, events that you will see um, or that you will use within um, analytics. So So now what I need you guys to do, I need you to go to your Firebase console, right? Right? 
and oh crap. So go to your Firebase console, and I have obviously forgotten which project I want to use, right? Which project goes with what's in with what is in uh, Xcode. Simple. Go to my prop my Xcode project. I need to click on my Google services uh, info.p list. And there's the name of the project, Analytics Simple Event Tutorial. Project ID, excuse me, as a project ID, right? It's already in there. So I'll go back here, Analytics Simple Event Tutorial, click on there. And now I have this open. I need to go to my analytics dashboard, go to my left-hand side. Moment analytics dashboard. Okay. Now I'm inside. And I need to scroll to towards the bottom, not all the way to the bottom. See, I'm passing average user engagement time, user retention, user activity cohort. And here I am. Event count by name conversions by event names okay so and i'll get into that later let's talk about the events that we see right here user engagement how many times we came into the app and i'm talking about the app that i demonstrated last video if you don't know what i'm talking about you need to watch the video before this event name which is the event that we triggered and I just threw a name in there, any kind of name. First open and session start. And I've already defined what these mean in, you know, in the presentation. But let's go to the code and let's see something. So now I am back here in Xcode. And this is where I fired. No, it's not where I fired. This is where I fired. Yeah, this is where I fired off the the analytics code and it is right um somewhere around here right uh -huh. mm -hmm. right here so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this out the way and i'm going to um not i'm going to move this over right to okay just to get it out the way and i don't feel like looking at that um So this is it right here. Analytics, log event, events name, parameters, button click. I am clicked. These are just parameters. They aren't real parameters. And it's just something I just threw in there. Um, but I want you to understand this. So um, event name is a an event that is logged, event name, this is logged. I've done this six times. Now remember, I'm not gonna worry too much about seeing the results of what I do in here for the tutorial sake, why? Because there's hella lag time, all right? I do this, I can do this twice, go right here, go back here, look at my console. And as you see in my console at the bottom, nothing. <laughs> So let me go back here. I mean, it should be saying uh, something to the effect of print. And so I made a mistake. Um, so what happened was I needed to stop Xcode. This has been sitting for such a long time. I need to stop Xcode and reopen it and reopen the project. But as you can see now, if I click here, test. So it's actually firing this, right? Um, where is that? Where's that line of test here? Print right here. And it's firing this. Analytics log event, right? And so yes. I'm gonna go up here. And of course, the lag time, right? Because of the lag time, we're not gonna. Chances are we're not gonna see our changes, right? Um, let's see, come on. All right, so I'm here, analytics dashboard, scroll to the bottom, not, not the exact bottom, but 
Okay, event name, of course, and no, it's yeah, it hasn't incremented, right? So, um, yeah. So that's um that's how you create an event name, and of course, um, another thing that I like for people to understand is this: um, instead of um um doing the log event like this we can use the firebase objects so i'm going to take this out right okay so instead of having that we're going to we can say analytics analytics right analytics select analytics okay sorry event as you can see, all the events are here. Events, select, write, content. Okay. And then we can go here, right? Because now they're parameters. And we can set our parameter as, right, analytics parameter ID analytics parameter there id uh, or item id right and because the dictionary we have to have a value i'm just going to say um yeah um id is a button press right um let's add another one analytics parameter item name right analytics oh my god analytics Parameter name, P A R parameter, parameter item, parameter items, item name, right? And we'll just say um, test, okay? Right? And um, we'll just leave it at that, right? I'm going to go ahead and place this and make sure everything builds, right? But this is how you and do an analytics event select content, right? And, of course, um, give me a second, select content, and stop. <sighs> and of course, event select content is, um, give me a second. So what you're going to see down here in your, in your event name, Instead of events name, you're going to see thing something that says select content, select underscore content, right? Of course, you're not going to see it now because not enough time lapse, right? Let me go ahead and do this one more time. I've uh, pressed this, replace, and this should come out. Click here, here, here. Sorry about that. Right? And so, yeah, four of these should come out and keep track of some other ones. So you're going to have a new event called, this event's going to be called Select Content. It's going to be down here. All right? It's going to be in this. And you, it's going to be added to this select content. 
Okay. So we're going to get into the details of event name and select content user engagement because there are, you know, you got to find out the parameter information, right? So that you can use it, right? And so, yeah, we're going to get to that. So on to the next.